Okay, here we are. So this is a video showing you how to create these stairs that I demoed up in front of class. So I, I have done a, you know, conducted a demonstration of this for you all as a class. Um, this is an assignment and we're going to, this is a good starting point um, for us with our with SolidWorks because you know we're going to build a little more complex objects in the future but once you get these few steps down you should be able to to um, keep up a lot easier in the future on our future objects so here we go let's get started um, here is our desktop mine is extremely small right now just due to uh, some settings here on my teacher computer but you can see everything fine and on your desktop it's going to be a lot less cluttered you have a lot less options um, the one that you're going to choose is the largest red cube that has an S on one side and a W on the other side SolidWorks that's the program we're using so we're going to double click that and it's going to load um, if this is your first time that you have actually ever open the software it's going to ask you a few questions like have a uh, ask you to okay a user agreement etc just accept the defaults say okay and move forward and you'll be fine all right so here we go here is the uh, screen that you'll see when you start your computer for start SolidWorks for the first time and, and get through all of those initial um, dialogue boxes so here we go um, then we're going to start a new document. Uh, there's a number of ways to do that. We have this flyout menu here uh, that you can pin or unpin. I think when naturally it's got this little arrow and if you fly out you can access these things as well. But I always just like to pin, pin it down permanently. So you've got like this other menu here. I don't even know what it is. And then you have your uh, normal file view tools menu here available as well also on the right hand side there's a pop out a fly out menu that if you click on the uh, graphics area the blank graphics area here it'll collapse um, but if you want to access one of these sections you just click on the icon or whatever section you're wanting to go to don't be clicking on things that you don't know what they do that's a good way to get into trouble with this program right now just click on the house um, which is SolidWorks resources and let's just click on new document to start a, a new document yeah. alright so here are our options yours may look like this if it does just go click the novice button and it'll show these um, more graphical um, uh, menu here for you to choose from so we're going to choose part because that's what we're creating we're not you have to have many parts to create an assembly and we really don't even touch uh, on drawings that's just when you put them together on a, uh, as an orthographic projection to share with people this is an industry standard program and a lot of people do that for their jobs I mean they're creating drawings and, and sending these drawings off to various people um, so don't worry about that click on part for now and we're going to say OK and we're going to start our first part. It's taking a minute to load up. Here we go. All right. Um, first thing I would do is I would go up here to Options, go to Customize, and click on this Lock Command Manager and Toolbars. Do that. Uh, it will save your, you headaches in the future. So make sure you go ahead and do that. It's the first thing. The second thing you do is always check to make sure that you're in millimeters grams and seconds right here you can click on this menu here or this object here and a lot of people will start off as inches pounds and seconds uh, as their unit of measurement we're going to work in millimeters for the metric system we're going to use the metric system system for this unit so click on mmgs and that's going to be able to allow you to make um, use millimeters and centimeters and meters in your drawing we won't make anything so large that it's a meter long but anyway um, so for our stairs um, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit let's look at over here on the feature tree 
the feature tree is always going to show up by default. It's extremely important when you start making changes to your drawing and adding uh, steps to your drawing, they're going to show up in your feature tree. So it's very important to uh, know where it is and how to see it. Uh, it's this tab right here. And you want to make sure that that's showing like what we see right here. Um, up on the top, this is your command manager, I think is what they call it. Uh, the tabs, the features tab and the sketch tab are the two tabs that we're going to work on. We're really not going to work on anything else. I've got lots of other stuff here. Uh, that's very advanced. Don't worry about any of that. We're going to always start with our sketch, sketch out some basic shapes. Uh, here we are. We have line tools. We have uh, rectangle tools. We have polygon, uh, polygon tool. Uh, we're going to draw these shapes here for our various objects and various components of our objects. And then you're going to move over to the features tab and you're going to give it depth. And it's going to, you're going to make it three dimensional by using this uh, tab right here. So right now, start off on the sketch tab. We're going, we talked about this in class, we, we decided uh, we're going to use the, we know that all objects have a front plane, a top plane, and a right plane. We're going to utilize the right side plane for this these steps. So we're going to select that plane. This is just a tool for us to use to be able to see what's going on and uh, to start on a particular plane. Don't adjust or play around with this. Um, just select it and then click on your line tool. So from at this point, uh, you can start sketching out your line. So just click once to start, you know, to create a point and then move your mouse down. Uh, see the little yellow symbol over to the right of my cursor? Yellow uh, straight mark that's just letting you know that your line is straight and it's going to add some other visual aids eventually but uh, to start off with for this first line that lets you know that it's straight and it also kind of snaps to the st uh, straight line as well so don't overthink it but it is important to draw a straight straight line for this object so we've got one line defined there now look see it's giving us even more visual aids here we have this uh, inferred dotted line here so as well as the yellow uh, symbol there that shows us that it's straight so we're going to create that edge and then we're going to just draw out our steps when we come to this point and there's an inference point to this point here on this line it'll give you a little visual aid as well so that's really helpful so click there and then finish up by uh, coming back to that starting point. And notice how the line has a little circle associated and beside it now. And that's just letting you know that you're on that point. And that's what you, where you want to be. You don't want to be beyond the point or not to the point. You want to be on the point to close that shape. So we've got the side profile of our steps. So we're going to enter in our dimensions now, um, which is the next step. So we're going to select Smart Dimensions tool from the Sketch toolbar up here. We're going to hover over our line. Don't click on the center point. You'll mess things up. I'll just hover over the line, and somewhere besides that center point, click on it once it turns orange. And pull it out and drop it down. I'll click, I should say, and then enter in your value. So I'm going to do this quickly. You're just going to do that for every edge. That you need to dimension. I have it written up on the board that you took a picture of or wrote or drew it out in your uh, design journal. Use those dimensions to finish this object, but I'm going to go ahead and do it real quickly here. And the smart dimension tool is still selected, so it'll continue to work. Notice how the lines sh uh, shift once you start defining it a little further. Watch how it'll, uh, this line here, uh, this distance from here to here will shrink a little bit once we put 20 because we know it's a little longer than that earlier. So watch, 20, and shifted it up. This one is 40. Oops. Uh, what else do we need to do? This one's 
20. And this one's 20. Okay, so we've defined, we've sketched out our profile shape, and we've fully defined the uh, shape at this point. We've given it all the dimensions it, it needs, except for the depth, which is the 3D part of this um, assignment, or this uh, you know, lesson here. So we're going to go to the Features tab, and we're going to extrude the base of the object here. We don't have any boss features, but this is the base. It's just one solid piece. So we're going to click on extrude base or extrude boss base. And according to our uh, isometric drawing that I drew up on the board and that you should have that information either on your photograph or in your journal, we know that the depth of this object is going to be 40. So we're going to click 40. As you can see, it's, see it's still yellow. So we know it's not completely finished until it's gray. I click on the check mark here or here, and that means you're happy with what you see, you, it's good. Uh, and then it will show your object, your three-dimensional object. So you can hold down your middle mouse button and kind of pan around, or you can go up here and click this uh, right here. Or you can click Control-7, and it'll show you an isometric view of your object as well. So there is your object. And all you have to do at this point is name it. So we're going to go to File. We're going to go Save. And then you're going to type in your first name, dot last name, underscore stairs. And uh, I would go to your desktop. There's a folder in off of your desktop with your name on it right here. Just click on it. Double click on it. Create a folder in this um, folder here called SketchUp and save all of your objects in that folder. So that's your first 3D object completed. And at this point, all you have to do is go to Office 365 and upload that file or those files. Eventually, we're going to do more than one object and share them with me. And you will get a good grade. So um, you know, do that and you will be successful. So this is how to make our first object, our stairs object.